make you laugh, make you cry like ain't life funny. Ugh. I mean, it was crazy. So first of all, before we fuck up and do what we did last week, uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 30. Ain't like funny, Aaron, what's up? What's up, everybody? Uh, we're here, dude. It's The world still exists. It's not on fire yet. So, I mean... Uh, it's I mean, be- I told you, bro, like... Man, ain't nothing gonna happen, man. Because, like, my thing with all this is, is, like... At the end of the day, man, how much are you really going to invest in some shit that really don't like that you don't see? You know what I mean? Like, it's one thing if like they was kicking down your door being like, yo, man, Biden the president now or Trump president now. Get on the ground. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't nothing like that, really. It's just, you know, you just go go to work like you always do. You know what I mean? And do what you do. But to me, the thing that's crazy about all this, dude, is uh, I mean, damn, Trump still won a whole lot of votes, yo. Like, he got enough votes to where he going to want to run again, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't surprised. I mean, I know what country I live in, dog. Shit, I ain't, this ain't no riddle to me, you know what I'm saying? No, I mean, you could tell, one, that, like, the poll – I don't believe in the polls because, I mean, everyone saw last election that those shit – they don't right. mean anything. Like, um, I don't know where I heard it, but it has to – you know, I think it's kind of plain to see that the people that vote for, like, Biden – really hardcore they'll tell you that who they're voting for but trump voters are either these mouth breathers that are just clearly trump votes safest place in the world to be is at a trump rally and a huge number of people who don't want to tell you Oh, yeah. Um, they don't want to admit it, but they all. Because, bro, it's like, it's like being like, it's like if it was like in a pickup game and like the worst baller on the court gets to pick the team, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to be on that dude's team, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'd be like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'd be hoping to get picked last for the other guy's team if he's way better. It's like if you had like, you know, Sam Cassell versus LeBron picking you and shit, you're going to be like, God damn, I'm on Sam Cassell team, dog. You know what I'm saying? So. I think that's really what the issue is, man, is that, like, there's a whole constituency of people that are ashamed of it. And I think a lot of these people are, sad to say, closer to you than you realize. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's more than likely it's, like, your boss, you know what I'm saying, or your boss's boss or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, that's what people don't really want to think about. But, I mean, part of the thing with Trump, I don't think it's, like, it's an economic thing, man. Like, them people was getting money, bro. That's what I said in the last episode, bro. Like, Trump was getting all the people that needed to get paid, paid. So that's why I was thinking he gonna stay in office. And, like, he still might. Like, he ain't really lost yet, you know what I'm saying, as we speak, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, it don't look good, but, I mean, I don't know, man. I just, I'm to this point where it's like, the fact that he's won as much as he has, it's like, apparently, people do not view this guy in the same light as I do. You know what I mean? Well, it's just crazy that even with everything that's going on and with all these problems that we're having and stuff that there's still people that no matter what, will just blindly vote for a party. They don't really give a fuck who it is or maybe even what some of the more, you know, colorful things, platforms these people have or ways that they go about things. They're just straight up party people. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck who it is, even if it's Trump they don't really want to go against their party, which I just, I don't know. It's hard for me to kind of, because my wife is super into this and, you know, into the results, especially. She doesn't want to see Trump in. And for me, it just is one of these things where I don't want to see the guy. I just don't, I'm sick of him. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to hear all this shit. I don't like talking about him. And I don't like the way he makes us look. But I don't think, as like po- politicians, I don't trust any of them. So uh, we've said right. it ad nauseum. We're getting a choice of between two turds, and we're just choosing the less stinky of the turds. Right. But I just don't really care. I don't want to see the guy win. It's kind of crazy when you watch. Like, I know tr- I don't really remember 2016 exactly. Like, who? the states Trump won that he shouldn't have won versus, you know, 
typically democratic states and whatnot, but I'm looking at a map, like when you type in election numbers in Google, it'll bring up a map of, you know, the, of the yeah. United States. And it's literally the coasts up and down are blue, except for Florida. Cause we all know why the fuck that is, but it's all coast. And then everything in the middle is just red. Right. You know, so I, I don't really know, man. I, I don't think he's going to win. Um, it's like, I'm looking at the numbers and I think if, as long as Biden wins uh, Nevada and that's it, I think. If he just I went think Nevada, that's, yeah, I think that's it. And if he wins right. Nevada, it's over. Like he, Trump can't win if Biden wins Nevada. So uh, my whole thing with it, man, is like just as a disclaimer, like we're not really educated enough to be thinking on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like I mean, I'm just keeping it all the way 100. Now, as far as that, but that's this is what I'm saying though. As far as the average American voter goes. We're way smarter than them. Like, that's what's really terrifying about this, right? And then, as far as the average politician goes, we're probably smarter than them, too. Because the thing that's really crazy to me, dude, is, like, I see – this is my first time ever really voting. Like, I voted through the mail before, like, when Obama first ran. I don't know if that vote ever got counted or not. I lived in Florida. Um, I mailed it hella late. So, who knows? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, who knows if that shit went through or not? I don't know. But – uh one thing I noticed, though, like when I went to the polls this time, dude, it's like legitimately when you go there, there are people standing outside that are trying to change your vote as you walk in the door. There's a line that says you can't no, uh I forgot what they call them people, but like no person can talk to you past this point. You know what I'm saying? So like the reason like I actually voted for some, one of them people because it was this girl's mom that was running for the board of education. And I don't really give a fuck who wins in this County. Cause I don't plan on living here too much longer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to move eventually. So it's like, you know, like it's funny. Cause they had a bunch of like the way they do it here. Like they make you vote on the budget and they have like all this stuff. Like they want to get more money to um, make the lot to like renovate the library architecturally and all this stuff. And then it said like community colleges and all this, but I'm like, it says renovate, but does that mean that you're going to rebuild the buildings? Or are you going to get more books and like help students? Cause like, I don't give a fuck if y'all got a nice building. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just said, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, no to all that shit. Cause it's like, <laughs> the way I look at it is if I say yes, y'all go take that money and take it out of my taxes. So all, like, that's all like budget. the fundamental problem with politics in general, like for people right. like you and me that I think just have, a general knowledge of government enough to see that it's all just a game to get money funneled to certain people and stuff. I like none of this stuff moves the needle to, for me at all. I will say in terms of cool election slash uh, just like legalization topics, um, more weed States, a lot more weed States keeps going. Yeah. Uh, Portland decriminalized all drugs? Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? 